Most people in life are trying to figure out how do I keep my job and how do I not interfere with other people's lives when I'm doing my job. Because when you interfere with someone else's life when you're doing a job, you almost always ruin your future in that job or in that career. Now a lot of people who work in retail environments might not be pleased with me by how I feel about some retail environments. But I'm not wrong in how I feel because I have been monkeyed with by plenty of retail employees who had no rights to me, no power over me, but they wanted to exert their power over me. Here's the problem that young people and old people who have retail mentality only never think about. That they are the people that are representing their corporations, their national and sometimes international corporations. And whether they're on the clock or off the clock in their uniform, they are still a part of that corporation. The other part they don't think about is how their relationships are formed. If they created a relationship with someone through the service of a human being or a customer in the store and they start monkeying with that person outside of that store, they have made their company incredibly liable. Not only are they personally liable to their corporations for their poor behavior and possibly immoral and illegal behavior towards people who are customers or prospective long-term clients, they are also fully liable on behalf of their corporations for their behavior. So whether they're hackers who like to hack a computer or a phone of someone, or whether they're a monkeyer who likes to interfere with the power of batteries of some, or whether there's someone who likes to monkey with food just to be that rude, or whether there's someone who likes to try to throw someone out of a store because they just don't like how they look and they, how they feel to them. The point is that most corporations will move managers and employees around when they're not really fully functioning correctly or with appropriate gratitude or appropriate attitude at certain places. Many times stupid employees, and I apologize for saying it that way, maybe naive is better, think they've been moved because of their benefits to the corporation or because they're such a good manager or they're a good employee. That is not always the case. Practically, they might be being moved to see if they will do the same stupid behaviors in a new place or to decide whether or not that employee is just being set with the wrong type of people to serve, meaning the wrong demographics, the wrong level of affluence of customers, the wrong level of influence of people who come in and out on a regular basis, or possibly the wrong level of customer feedback that might just come from one little old person like me or possibly one person like me who might actually be representing 200 to 250 people like me who just don't take the time to say how they feel because it doesn't matter to them. They don't care about the corporation. They don't care about the store. They don't care about the liabilities of the people in the store. They don't care about sharing people, information, and they don't care about whether or not someone keeps a job or not. You see, in life, we either learn how to be a superior employee or we learn how to be an inferior employee. A superior employee moves up the ladder corporate-wise because they realize that they have to provide themselves a lot more income over the course of time in order to keep their life going, keep food on the table, keep shelter over their head, and keep insurance and benefits that come with a full-time employment instead. When I'm talking like this, I'm talking about people who never get out of the hourly zone, which means they don't have a lot of benefits, they barely have a 401k, and they have very little for retirement, which means they'll be working very late in their life in retail environments. Now, there's plenty of retail environments like the food industry, the grocery industry, that have salaried jobs, where people really do a marvelous job caring for people, tending to customers, and looking for long-term clients to support their restaurants, to keep their stations open and openly to make sure that they always have people talking positively about their corporate brand. Marketing people like me of old years are quick to read 20-somethings that just think they're smarter than the world. The young hackers today always play dumb. The foreign hackers always play like they're in stupid remedial jobs, but they can sit there all day at some sort of a lottery shop or gambling shop and literally hack the world away because there's very few customers that come in all day. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth of what we feel absolutely. But what we want people to understand is what is really real in terms of legal liabilities and lethal liabilities of people who like to monkey 
who like to rape, who like to molest, who like to steal, who like to barely invest in the concept of their corporate brand. Thanks for listening.